Hi everybody. Now we are going to review a pH meter uh, from 7 Pros. This was a, a 7 Pros product and it was distributed by 7 Pros as well, sold by them. So it did come in the box, opened up like that. 7 Pros tries to pack just a little bit too much stuff in there and this got jostled a little bit probably during shipment and it popped right out. Um, inside here We've got some pH calibration packets. We have the pH meter itself with the cap. And then we also have the instructions. Now I did have a fun experiment set up. We were really gonna give this one a shot. I have uh, some tap water, some filtered water, um, some fresh water. Unfortunately, uh, don't have any distilled water at the moment. So we're unable to do the actual rinsing and calibration uh, test. So this is going to be something that uh, you know, I'm not able to do on the unboxing video, but of course I'll do before we do the um, write up the review for you guys. So that way you'll know exactly how well it performs and, and give you guys the answer between tap water, filtered water, and bottled water. Um, anyway, Kind of excited to get this product. I know that our, our tap water is actually a, a fairly pure, fairly clean tap water, uh, being in the, the major city that we're from. Um, they do a pretty good quality job with their water. Um, but we do have uh, an added filter that's on our refrigerator, uh, one of those frigid air filters. And I wanted to see how that performs versus the tap water and then, of course, the bottled water. So that will be the basis for the test whenever I do get that in there. In the meantime, we're going to show you the product. So here's the cap. Here's the pH tester down there. This is what you're going to rinse. Make sure to rinse it out really good. And then you're going to want to dry it out with some contact paper uh, to make sure that it stays nice and uh, sterile uh, before you run your test. You've got your on off button. Let's see if there's any batteries in it. Of course there are. So check that out. It's already kind of calibrating itself. It says it's auto calibrating, so I don't know why you would necessarily have to push the button. And it does keep going back to zero. And what the heck, let's just throw it in the water and see what happens, even if it hasn't been cleaned. It's going to immediately jump up there. You guys might be able to see it's at a 7.7, .7, roughly 7.68. Kind of interesting. Now. Pulling it out, tossing it right back in, it goes straight back to 7.6. I'm going to go ahead and just rinse it with some regular bottled water. No, it's not going to be dried. No, it's not going to be completely sterilized and properly calibrated, but what the heck. Filtered water still comes in about 6. Point, a little bit higher, 6.9. Odd. We're going to rinse it off again. And let's try this bottle of water and see what happens. And that one comes at, sorry, that was a 7.6, 7 I mean, I'm reading upside down. And then this one's a 7.4, so this one's, a, I guess, a little bit better. Honestly, I don't know what any of those numbers mean, and I would have to get on the internet and do a little bit more research to find out if, uh, you know, one's better or worse. The package on the front shows a 6.57, so maybe that's like the super pure version. Um, wish I could do a little bit more live testing, but at least you get to see the product. If you guys have any questions, comments, make sure to ask. I'll get to them as soon as we can. And I uh, did receive this for free in exchange for the review. Thank you.